So this is going to be a short overview tutorial on using the updated Align and Average Layer Stack feature uh, that we just recently updated in uh, ClearID version 3.2, which is available for download from the Ocean Systems uh, website. I'll show you uh, briefly where that's located at the end of the tutorial. But first, I uh, just wanted to kind of jump right into showing you uh, the improvements we've made and give you a visual walkthrough of how to use it and some of the finer nuances of the updated interface. So first to do that, I'm going to import some images uh, to work on that we use uh, for instructional purposes. You can get to those by going through the import images as a layer stack feature from the Photoshop filters menu. It's also a mapped function to the F6 key if you want to access it that way if you have the ClearID Actions files loaded. So you can go to your Windows, open up your Actions if you don't see this panel, and you'll see here that I have Ocean Systems ClearID 3.2 Actions files loaded. Uh, if they haven't been loaded previously, you can uh, load the Actions from Clicking this little right arrow on the right, and once you've installed 3.2, you'll see an Ocean Systems 3.2 Actions file. Once you select that, it'll populate in the, in the list here. So I'm going to actually just do it visually from the Filters menu. Go ahead, here's Select Individual Files. I'm going to browse to the folder, and here's some files that I can select. It's just looking through the Windows um, menu here, so you can you know adjust this side panel, make this bigger, smaller, uh, just selectable through normal Windows browsing. Uh, I'm actually using my up and down arrow keys right now, and I'm just kind of previewing to see what kind of images I might want to work on. So I'm going to find an area where the vehicle's moving, and I'm going to select a range of them, holding uh, the first selecting the first one then using shift on my keyboard holding the mouse clicking and selecting them here I have seven images I'll go ahead and import them so they're going to be hashed um, on the way in and you'll see them getting listed in the Photoshop layers palette over on the right uh, if the images had a a alpha channel mask on them if you ever see like black images in Photoshop it'll actually remove that on import that's a nice feature that comes along for the ride and you can see here the list of files in the order I selected them, a summary of their hash, what version of ClearID I'm using, what version of Photoshop that I'm using. So let's get right into showing you how to do the Align and Average Layer Stack. I'm going to launch the ClearID workflow. You can hit F7 on your keyboard. You can launch it that way. I'm going to go to Tab 2 and select Align and Average Layer Stack. Go ahead and click OK. So here we are in the interface. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of some of the visual uh, features that have been added. We've added this uh, status line up here that says I'm on image one of seven. Uh, there's a keyboard shortcut and workflows tip button that's been added into here. So if you want to reference these commands that I'm about to review with you, you can just click on that and walk through and you'll see that control arrow is going to nudge the images. A control shift alt down uh, arrow or up arrow is going to take you from one layer to the next and it's going to actually copy the offsets and that's part of what's going to make your workflow process a lot faster. If you want to just kind of go through the layers without copying offsets then your control shift down arrow. So control shift alt down, control shift down. Uh, and then here's a little quick note we made in here. We found out along the way that there's a combination of keys that you can hit, which is control, alt, and arrows that will throw your monitors into some presentation modes, and that kind of can get disorienting. So we gave you a quick note of how to, how to disable that feature. So I'm going to get right into the interface here. I'm actually going to start off by putting a line to none, just to show you that you can, by holding the control shift, which is going to take you through the layers, you can just look at your original video in here. So that's uh, a nice mode to go into if you want to see where you're starting from. I'm on 7. I don't want to be on 7. I want to be on 1. So I'm going to start doing my alignments. Now everything I show you is a keyboard combination. You can also do with mouse 
uh, and keyboard combinations. So if you're a keyboard person, great. If not, you're a mouse person, you can do it with the mouse as well. So the way that this interface opens up is aligning to the image that's in the middle of the stack. So I'm going to say align to, and you can see you click this, I'm going to align 7 to 10, 8 to 10, 9 to 10, and then I'm going to come back from the other direction. So you can see here, I, I'm in edge mode, you can be in difference mode, um, which one you prefer to use is up to you. Uh, they both have uh, some visual uniquenesses to them, but I, I prefer to be in edge mode, so I'm going to do it that way. So here I'm going to try to align these two images, and you could always have done that before by clicking and clicking like this. Uh, if these were a great deal apart from each other, you were doing a lot of clicking. So we've now made it so you can click and hold. So that's kind of nice. You don't have to keep clicking. Another feature is that you can hold down your control key and you can left mouse click and you can drag. So let's say these images really started far apart and I didn't want to click and hold and wait or the keyboard combination, which is control and right and left arrow. I didn't want to wait like that. I can go control and I can drag them and put them right over top of each other. If I want to do some small modifications, I can do that with my interface this way, or again, me, I like using the keyboard, so I'm going to get them lined up. And there you go. So when they're lined up, they kind of cancel each other out, and you see the gray like that. So here's one of the uh, processes that we've sped up. So now when I'm going to go from one layer to the next, I can go Control, Shift, and Alt. And I'm going to hit my down arrow, and I'm going to go from Image 1 to Image 2, and I'm going to copy these offsets. So I'm going to be a lot closer to where I'm trying to get to, instead of starting at 0, 0, I'm at the last closest place that I was. So now I'm going to take my hand off of the Shift and Alt key. I'm going to just have the Control key down. I'm going to go back to my arrows. So here I am, and I'm going to work my way through this workflow. Control, Shift, Alt, Down. Go back to Control and my arrow keys. Control, Shift, Alt, Down. Back to my arrow keys. Now it's smart enough to know that I don't want to align to the middle layer. So when I got to uh, 9, you'll notice it jumped from 9 right over to 11 because I don't want to align to myself. So it's smart enough to know to skip over the target. Um, so I'm going to go back. I'm on the fifth of 7. Control, Shift, Alt, Down. Control, Arrow Keys. And you can also do this by go Control, Shift, Alt, Down. And you can click right here. And there's bubble help to tell you what that keyboard combination is. So the shortcuts are there. They're also inside of this keyboard shortcuts window here. So I'm going to click the down to go from 6 to 7, and it copied my offsets just the same. I'm going to go Control, and I'm going to get it lined up. Now, to review my work, I don't hold Control, Shift, Alt, Down. I just Control, Shift, and use my arrow keys. Now it's going to go to the next layer and not copy the offsets. Uh, one thing I just want to show you before I do that, though, is if I did try to go Control shift alt down and go past 7, I'm going to go back to 1. There's already offsets in 1, so that's another feature we added, is you can look in here and you can see where the offsets have been done, right? So here's all the offsets I did. They're stored right in there. So I'm going to do Control shift alt down and it's going to say, you're trying to go to a layer that you already put offsets on. So I don't want to do that because I already did that work. So I'm going to say no, but it's still going to take me back to the first image in the stack. So now I'm going to go Control Shift instead of Control Shift Alt that copies them. Control Shift takes me to the next layer, no offsets brought along with it. So I'm going to use my down arrow and I'm going to review my work and see if I did a good job or if I accidentally missed something along the way. So let's say I stumbled into one. I thought, oh, that's not as nice of an alignment as I'd like. I can just hold the control key, or I can use the arrow keys here, and I can update that. I think that's a little bit better. So I'm going to keep that. It's going to store that updated uh, offset, and I'm going to go back to control shift down, review my work. And this is a lot faster than where we were before when we weren't copying offsets. So I wanted to just give everyone a walkthrough and show you how that worked. 
another thing here is you can do a render preview. This button was always there. Uh, unfortunately, there was a small bug in it we updated that allow, allow you to use it as many times as you want before it was only available to be used once. So when I'm happy with my work, I can go ahead and click OK and it'll actually render the result. It gets stored in the top layer that's been hashed. That's gonna go into your verification report and that looks good. So want to uh, invite anybody that doesn't have the 3.2 already to go get it. It's available on our website so you can get to it a number of different ways. You can go into the Clear ID tab and go to the trial download. You can go to the support and downloads. Um, here you'll see a summary of all the latest product releases and that's going to link you to this linear list of products. You can come into the download section here. There's some hotkey shortcuts here. I can jump right to the clear ID section and you'll see the build, what date it was released, who gets it for free, uh, what support date they needed to be in, a uh, little preview of the interface, the release notes. And when you click this download request form and you fill it out, uh, it forwards you to the download page. So it's going to take you um, right to the download page after you fill it out and you can go ahead and download it and run it in trial mode uh, until you get it unlocked. Um, if you don't actually own it already and you're, you're not in support, it will auto unlock for people that have updated to version like 3.1 without a new unlock code. But if um, you're updating from something like 2.6, 2.6.4, that type of thing, then you're going to get a new unlock code. So that's the brief overview of that feature. Hopefully uh, you got something from that. And if you have any questions, just give us a call, contact us, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks.